in this issue of Fashion Classics, it's the top 10. Travel back in time to the spring and summer of 1994. Find out what 10 trends top the international spring collections that season. Do you remember who the 10 most recognized designer names were? You may be surprised. Plus, the 10 wardrobe enhancing accessories. Models may come and go, but meet the top 10 who stood out in 1994. 10 tricks of the trade to make you more beautiful. And the 10 items you had to have, all adding up to 10 times the fashion. The spring-summer 1994 collections may be unmemorable to most, but there were 10 good reasons to take notice. The international fashion circuit was a whirl of trends that year. Here are 10 which work in any language. If you see through the hair and the, you know, the theatrics of it, you see that it's pretty saleable stuff. My assessment is that it's a very good season. It's, it's very strong. In 1994, the bright news began with the designer's infatuation with shine. Brushed with glimmer, fabrics shine this season. Cutting edge technology turned fabrics into the perfect lamplight. Silver was a common thread. With all its versatility and presence, silver was the new basic. These glowing pieces worked equally well for day and for night, much the same way that transparent fabrics shed their former evening only role. It was an idea with a brilliant future. I try to take uh, fashion back to its purest and simplest form. Spring is always a case where the clothes should be, have more crisp, more youth, more honestly sexy, soft appeal. And the password for spring 1994 was pretty, as a full-scale return to femininity was underway. This pursuit of prettiness put the pleasure back into dressing like a woman. There is even a hint of bygone romance for full throttle femininity. I think the clothes are very fragile. I think the clothes are very light. They're also very, they're layered, layer upon layer, but they look like they weigh nothing and, and, and they're soft. I think it's very modern today for, for, for modern women to to wear very fluid, soft, feminine clothes. The soft message in the 1994 collections loudly proclaimed, less is more. Layers of transparency float around the body. It was a theme no longer relegated to the avant-garde. In 1993, fashion was a free fall into shapelessness. The following year, it was refined to body-conscious liquidity, proving that gray clothing can feel like underwear without having to look like it. But overall, it's, it's all about softening things up. Fabrics created the soft mood this 1994 season. garments were layered, the mood remains light. Gentle lace was everywhere. And whisper soft leathers added a new twist. I have a massive amount of suits and suit jackets and that's a staple. That's like after the t-shirt, we need that to go to work and deal with all the other stuff. Spring silhouette lightened up, and the fastest way to update a work wardrobe was with one of the season's new suits. What gave the jacket and skirt combo fresh appeal was its proportion of long over short. Best in soft fabrics, it was the return of a powerful suit in 1994. Some were as functional and comfortable as the ease of pajamas. The suit turned to liquid as razor sharp edges melt away. It was one of the 94 season's strongest statements. 
I think short skirt is just so much more modern than, than having long skirts. And short skirts, I think, are now uh, become part of ourselves. Designers also flirted with new heights that year. Everything's coming up short as the hemline debate still raged. In 1994, sexy schoolgirl kilts were one way to show off a lot of leg. It was so multicultural. That's what was so great for me. It was just anything goes. 1994 was a year of experimentation with ethnic touches as the world got smaller. Some explored the Asian allure while Greek goddesses clashed with the Titans. And tribal Africa inspired some, but color made news. The color palette is very neutral. We, we balance between white of white. The great blackout of 1993 thankfully ended in the spring of 94. After a season of somber times, fashion now floated into softer, prettier territory. The most significant change of the season was in the color field. White and its pale counterparts of ivory, cream, sand and wheat instantly revived a winter-weary wardrobe. Now suddenly fashion wants to look younger than springtime. Another 94 trend tapped into the fountain of youth with the ingenue. Designers presented an endless parade of lascivious lolitas and baby dolls. As we move more as a population, and uh, uh, we need clothes that give and uh, become almost athletic in that character. One look was a runaway hit for the 94 season. Sleek, athletic-inspired style. Racy modern activewear evolved into a full-fledged style movement that mixed authentic fitness gear with designer interpretation. The 10 trends which made headlines in spring 1994. How many were you wearing? Now a look back at the people who made fashion happen that spring of 1994. The designers behind the labels. Women's Wear Daily reported on the Fairchild 50, a survey of American consumers who answered this question. Who are the top 10 most recognizable designer names? See if they've changed over the years. You may be surprised with the results. Number 10 on Fairchild's list in 1994 was Chanel. Quality accessories, perfume, and house designer Karl Lagerfeld were the reasons. We change fashion chains, eh? We don't look the same we did 10 years ago. Why should fashion look the same always? Beautiful clothes and signature accessories have made the French house of Chanel a household name. Number nine on the list, Anne Klein. Superstar designers Donna Karen and Louis Del Olio were part of the earlier design team who continued the company after Anne's untimely death in 1971. She was amazing, great designer. I mean, she really did revolutionize American sportswear. Spring 1994 also marked the debut collection of designer Richard Tyler. Spot number eight belonged to Yves Saint Laurent. Born in Algeria in 1923, Saint Laurent had been called the most celebrated fashion designer in the world. Women especially adored him. I think you always feel more beautiful and more feminine. With Eve, the clothes always help you be who you want to be. Perfume and cosmetics add to the wide-based recognition of this design hero. Beautiful clothes are only part of the story at Christian Dior, who ranked number seven on Fairchild's top ten list in 1994. The House of Dior's success is also due in part to the company's wide licensing operation, 
which features signature perfumes and a cosmetics collection. At the time, Italian Gianfranco Ferre was at Dior's design helm. He kept the famous couturier's name on everybody's lips. Another designer that American consumers recognize and revere is Oscar de la Renta. Oscar's unique vision always satisfies his elegant customer. My role as a designer is to try to create clothes that I think that a modern contemporary woman, you know, likes to wear. That's why Oscar de la Renta was number six on the Fairchild Top Ten. In 1923, a saddle maker named Guccio Gucci opened a small leather shop in Florence. Gucci's name is recognized around the world as a leader in leather goods. Why did Gucci rank number five in 1994? She is a woman who does not want to change her wardrobe every season. She reveres her clothes and treats them as they were old friends. If there ever was a designer who recognized the value of a designer name, it was businessman extraordinaire Pierre Cardin. I am a true businessman because I like very much to, to play with the business, you know, not because it's money, because it's the same when the men like uh, to play the card, he likes to play card because he's, a, he's not a winner, because he's a, he's a time, a pleasant time, you know, and for me the business is something very attractive. Over 400 products bear the Pierre Cardin signature. There's only one designer for many of the world's most sophisticated ladies. His sense of line and color create a crisp elegance that is signature Blass. Bill Blass put his stamp at number three that year. A designer is desperate to put a stamp on his clothes from the very beginning, and I think that's what I've always tried to do. Sophisticated elegance, the trademark of Bill Blass, number three in 1994. Ralph Lauren's international design empire is built on tradition. One would expect that this master of elegant living was born to wealth, but actually, Ralph Lauren was born to first-generation Russian immigrants in the New York Bronx. Genteel elegance, authentic Western style, and exciting and sophisticated sportswear made Ralph Lauren the second most recognizable designer name in 1994. But the number one most recognizable designer name that year, according to the Fairchild 50, is Calvin Klein. Klein's ability to capture the mood of the moment made him a star. It's that time, the 90s, it's, it's, it's a quieter time. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's finer, I think. Over 80% of the people surveyed knew the Klein name making him the most recognized designer in America. The top 10 designer names of 1994, who America thinks of first. You know the top designers. You've seen the top trends. Do you remember the countdown of the top 10 accessories for spring 1994? Hats topped off the look in many ways. Whether sleek and elegant or just for fun, a hat pulls your look together. Man-tailored yet ladylike suspenders were all the rage in 1994. Borrowed from him, yet perfect for her, suspenders keep you pulled up above the rest. Another accessory that was a must-have in 94 was the backpack. Trendy then, now a fashion staple. And it's always a bright idea to protect your eyes from the bright lights. 
Sunglasses are the most necessary accessory for spring, no matter what the year. Was it an 80s revival? In 1994, the newest way to keep it all together was with the safety pin. Not just for punk rockers, safety pins secured the look that season. And one trend that hit its peak in 1994 was body piercing in the most unexpected places. A look not for the faint of heart, but a trend that stayed. No matter how high temperatures soared, gloves were sure to keep you looking cool. Especially when the newest gloves that year were fingerless. Thigh High Hosiery proved the sexiest accessory of the 94 season. An alternative to traditional looks, thigh highs accentuated the perfect leg. They were the perfect complement to the season's short length. Sandals let you put your best foot forward. Pedicures are a must as sexy feet stepped out. Fashion classics or short-lived trends. Some women paid no attention in 1994. When in doubt, remember the age-old rule. Simplicity can be best. Everyone has a favorite model. But each season, a few stand out from the rest. After surviving the Waif Wars, the super trio of Linda Christie and Naomi still reigned over the runways in the spring of 1994. But the super waves were also out there in full force, proving that variety is still the spice of life. And the 94 season's new faces were certainly diverse. Ev became the season's favorite. But we were also charmed by tattooed auto mechanic Jenny Shimizu. And American Debbie Dietering personified the baby doll look. Model Nadia Auerman got a hair color change with platinum locks. And super sexy Tyra Banks still found time to brighten up the runways in between takes on the set of The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Many others hoped for star status in 94, but which ones made it? One thing women always change, no matter the trends of the season, is their hair and makeup. Here's what was happening backstage at the spring-summer 1994 shows, as the experts shared their top 10 tricks of the trade. We wanted it to have a very unkempt and unstructured look. So what we've done is we've actually just run conditioner through the hair. So it gives it a very separated and textured look. So, um, it may look like you've just slept on your hair, but then you've caught it nicely. So really, it's, it's as simple as that. I go to the health food store for my moisturizer. I like something simple and pure. If there was any miracles out there, we'd all look a lot better. I think for this look, you can, you can skip heavy foundation, go for perhaps a tinted moisturizer instead, which will give you a bit of color, uh, and choose a concealer to sort of cover up under the eyes. So forget the foundation. We've used a sort of a golden, a golden blusher with a slight shimmer in it, which is going to give that real sort of sun-kissed look. Not really perfect at all. I mean, it's just that if you know you have a beautiful mouth, it's just a question of just adding a bit of lip gloss and probably just blending it in with your finger, really. And not worrying about the lip line because there's no lip line. You know, there's no designing of the lip. I'm not worrying if it goes over a little bit because it just makes again look more kind of dewy and wet. Take your under eye cover, the concealer that you use under your eye, and put a drop of it below the eyebrow. It opens up. 
and it shows the shape and it gives a good eye color. It brightens up your eye color. Take a color, a powder shadow and a brush that is similar to your eyebrow color, a touch darker now is the fashion, and go over it, create an arch. It gives already a drama look to the eye. To make sure that your nails are good and healthy, you should put cuticle cream on your cuticle two times a day. Certain things like bronzers work good for all over color. Probably the best tools are your fingers. Let your fingers work a little magic with these secrets from the pros. What were the top 10 must-buys for spring and summer 1994? And how many do you still have in your closet? You must remember the hottest number of the season, the slip dress. A naughty but nice baby doll dress recalled a bygone era. Did you pump up the volume with a micro mini? The cropped vest made its debut this season. Alone or layered, a clean look. A top-selling single every season, the basic white shirt gives you countless options. These sheer t-shirts also added sex appeal to your dressing options. And the shrunken sweater scaled down this season. The perfect tunic top re-emerged as a wardrobe basic. The classical way to keep in style is with the multi-level pantsuit. But on a final note, the antique jacket strikes the most interesting and flattering chord. That's the top 10 items of the Spring-Summer 1994 collections. Were you a hit that season? Fashion Classics, what we wore in 1994.